Hi, I'm Kevin Hill, and today I thought we would do another fun painting. So let's get started. We'll start off today with the two inch brush and a little bit of blue. And we'll come right up to the corners. And using big X's, we'll just paint in our sky. And let it get nice and soft toward the horizon. Now with a little bit of blue on the two inch brush, we can add some water just by pulling in. I'm pulling straight in from the sides and I'm letting it get softer and lighter as it comes toward the horizon. Now with just a clean brush, we can blend out this whole sky, make it look very soft. And start down at the bottom and work your way up. That way it keeps the darker color up toward the top. And then we can do the same to the water. Just blend it right out. Very soft. Now with the fan brush and some white, we can add a couple of soft little clouds right up to the upper portion of the sky. Just like that, rub them right in. Now back to the two inch brush, we can very lightly blend out these clouds, then fluff them up a little, and then blend them right back down. Now with a little bit of black and blue, we can start forming our mountain. I'm just rubbing in the base coat, and then we'll come back and highlight. This is very dark, because I want our highlights to show up. Now when you're finished with your mountain, you can grab a clean brush and pull it out. Grab it and blend it. And make it look a little bit softer at the bottom than it does at the top. Now with the knife and some white, we can come right up here and begin highlighting our mountain. No pressure with the knife, just let it float right down, very, very lightly. If you push too hard, you won't get all this breaking. Now when we're done with that, we can take a little bit of blue and white and add a little bit of shadow to this fountain, just like that. I'm still using almost no pressure and letting that paint break. And a little bit up here. Just let the knife float right down. Now with a clean brush, we can very lightly tap the bottom of the mountain to create some mist. I'm following the angles of the mountain, and then we can lift up, also following the angles, very lightly. Make sure not to destroy too much of the mountain. Now with a fan brush and a little bit of green, we can paint in some distant background trees, very lightly just kind of tapping with the brush. Also, you can lift up and get tiny, tiny trees. Now with the two inch brush and some dark green, we can add a little grassy meadow right back here, just by tapping with the brush. And I want it to be pretty dark because I'm gonna add some highlight right on top. Now with some black and blue on the knife, we can make a reflection of this mountain in the water. Just like we did before, rub it right into the painting. Now when you're done scraping your mountain, you can take that same brush and pull it out. Just like we did before, making it get a little bit softer at the bottom. 
Now I'm going to load the knife with some white and I'm going to break a little bit of snow right on the reflection, just like that, very lightly. Now back to that same blue we were using for the shadow and we can add the shadow side to this mountain very, very lightly. Now with the two inch brush and a little bit of yellow and green, we can add some highlight to this grass up here, just by tapping. And remember to leave some dark in between each little, each little rolling hill. And that shows some depth and distance in your painting. When you're done with the grass, we can take a clean brush and very, very, very lightly just skim right over that mountain. Now with some white on the knife, we can rub in a little water line, just like this. Now back to that one inch brush and some dark green. And we can add a few little bushes right down here. Maybe we'll even pull up some grass from this. Now with the script liner, we can pop up a few little blades of grass, just like that. Alright, well I think we're done. I had a lot of fun, I hope you did too. Don't forget to check out my new website where I have a lot of my original paintings for sale, and also my DVD. I'll put those links below, and thanks for watching.